Hello and welcome everybody to today's show. I am really excited to welcome back my friend and uh, amazing photographer, educator, entrepreneur, Ty Fisher. Ty, welcome back to the show. Nate, so good to be back. And yes, we are friends. It's been nice. Uh, we literally both started out of this. Uh, I think you were on your last day of work at your full-time job as I was working into my full-time studio. Yeah, it's been a fun ride. I think uh, I like to tell the story when we're meeting other people at, the, at trade shows and the like that I'll, I'll always remember running into like a conference room because you, you returned one of my emails or a voicemail and you were like, dude, you're onto something with the sticky albums thing. Whatever this is, I need it in my studio. You are so onto something. And it was, it's one of those, like, the, the kick in the ass that you really need at the right time. Yeah. And it's, it's made a difference for me. And then since then, you've given me several kicks in the ass along the way, uh, helping, helping me get better and helping sticky albums grow along the way as well. So I appreciate your support. Today's call, everybody, we're going to be talking about the importance of outsourcing. And one of my favorite lines I've always tried to echo is just because you can doesn't mean you should. Yeah. As photographers, as creatives, like we, it's so easy for us to see a thing and be like, oh, I could do that. I could totally do that. I can do that for blah, blah, blah. Like it's no big deal. It's like, yeah, I get it. Knowing how to do something in today's day and age is not a big deal. But yeah. you, you can't go to Google and search for more of your time. No, no, that's true. Right? So right. knowing how to do something, just because you can figure it out or you can do it, does not mean you should be doing it in your business. And if if you are somebody out there who's, whether you've been in business for a while or you're just getting started and you want to spend less time in front of the computer, you want to spend more time with your family and you want to make more money in your business, then today's call is for you. <laughs> How's that? How's that that's perfect and that that's right in with our mantra save time make more money you know totally so tell me let's back up to the beginning so you're doing high school senior photography you're running a couple studios and what city are you in we're in springfield ohio okay right in between dayton and columbus and so uh you were doing a lot of photography growing up growing your business and tell me how you started to figure out um like how long were you doing album design before you figured this out? How much of your own time were you spending on doing albums? Yeah, we spent the first three years, two of that being full-time, okay. doing our own album design, Yep. Uh, which was killing us because it's one of our best-selling items. Yep. So I think you touched on, let's pull that apart first. Just to set the stage, guys, um, album design is where it's at. If you're whether it's weddings or seniors or when you are focused on selling something that your clients can't get anywhere else that stands out as when you, when they, they can hold a shutterfly album in their hand. And, oh, I can make my own. It's like, yeah, I know you can. Well, here's what typically people make at a shutterfly or something like that at Walmart. Yeah. And here's what we make our customers. And this is why customers keep coming back to us. So it's, it's something unique. It's something people love. They can touch it and they can look at it and people are willing to pay more money for it. So a lot of successful studios have taken this model of sell to the album um, as a really simple way to optimize your workflow and increase your sales. But a lot of people who are new to it, like, ah, I don't have time to design albums. It takes me so much time. I want it to be perfect. And so you're spending how much... How much time when you first started for those first couple of years, how, how long would it take you to uh, do an album design? Well, prior to pre-designed templates where I was actually trying to custom make them myself, you're looking at three to four hours a book. Um, then I learned the power of going out and buying templates. Yep. Thought that was the answer. Yep. Tried to get really good and fast and I was still 60 to 90 minutes, almost two hours in sometimes. Yep. We're selling about 150 to 175 books a year. <laughs> Times that by two, you can pretty well see where my life was spent. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Sitting in front of a computer. It's like, wait a second, I thought I was a photographer. <laughs> but right, and, and you know, and, but people are like, so why sell them? Why is it such a big deal? Well, here's the deal. It's the number one point, it's the number one word of mouth selling tool I have. 
This is the only item that our clients, especially our high school seniors, are taking to school mm -hmm. to show their friends. Parents are taking to their friends to show. With my logo on the back and the images inside, it's our best-selling advertisement. That's why we've got to sell those. Yeah, right. It's huge. And it and I think it stands out when there's so much. Everybody's a photographer. Everybody's got somebody else they can go somewhere else they can go to get their picture taken and just deliver the CD. But uh, and a lot of people, I think there's a lot of do-it-yourselfers out there that say, oh, just give me the CD. I'll, I'll make my own album. And when you can sit down with them and show them what you're doing, it, these premium designed themes and templates, they don't know it's a template, but it, look, it looks amazing. That's what they know. It's something right. that they couldn't do themselves. And uh, the quality is such an important factor there. It's on really nice paper. Some of them, like, even, like a lay flat or the, some of the nicer albums that they can't get other places. That's how you stand out as a photographer. Um, okay, so... You you had this problem. You're baby stepping it. Like, okay, I've got templates. Right. What's next? How? What was the next step? The next step was figuring out how to get my life back. How to <laughs> figure out a system that I could still remain profitable in selling these albums. Yep. But not doing the work myself. Yep. Outsourcing to another employee was out of the question. Mm -hmm. Simply because I'm going to be paying overhead. I'm going to be paying insurances, taxes, workman's comp. That was not a part of the equation. So I had to find a system or build a system that would allow me to have my work done for me quickly and efficiently. Yep. But still at a high quality professional grade standard that I required. Exactly. Yeah, that's tricky. So what did you come up with? So we got Rebuku, which everybody looks at our name like, what is that? How do you say it? It is Rebuku. Um, it's it's a made-up word, but it really stands for Retouch and Books for You. And, and really what it is, it's a system where you can get your life back, especially yeah. with book design. Um, we have... Through my speaking engagements throughout the country, I've been fortunate enough to make friends with a lot of well-known photographers. And the cool thing about photographers is they're generous. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to partner with eight of the top industry photographers and designers who actually design the templates for our company. Yep. So you, you have a variety of templates to pick from, from children to newborn to high school senior. And we even have templates in there for the wedding uh, photographers. Yep. But the idea is you get to come to our site Pick a template that fits your style or what you're looking for. Yep. Upload your images. 24 hours, we're going to send you a proof. You get to make as many revisions to that proof as you want. So cool. No extra fees. Once you're happy with that proof, you're done. Yep. You have two options. So Download your JPEG files. Yep. Or we can send them off to our partner, H&H &H Color Lab, and so cool. we'll send the book to your door. Yep. So I want to I want to pause there. Some other yeah yeah. Um, I I want to share my own personal experience using in the tool. Um, so the, the the cool news today that I, I'm how I want to spread the word about is that you you offer an end to end solution. I've used it a number of times where I just get the JPEGs and I go to whatever lab I want and I get my book printed. No big deal. Right. But now you've partnered with an awesome lab in H and H, yeah. and it's completely hands off where I place the order, I do the tweaks I need, and then boom, I've got an album shipped right to me. Yes. That's fantastic. So let me, let's back up. Um, as photographers, we like having control, right? We Completely. like having everything. We want it to look just the way it's, every piece of the process we feel like we're artists and we want our, our taste is what people are paying for. <laughs> I understand I have that same issue, but we trust me, one, I'll say your customers aren't going to notice the things you notice. Mm -hmm. I'll just say that. <laughs> and we've got to we remember we're running a business and you've got to apply your artistic talent where you get the greatest return on your time. <clears throat> okay. So um, one of the ways I started experimenting with, I haven't been shooting as much now that I've been running sticky albums. I was running out of time for holidays and I knew I, my grandfather passed away last year, and I had some really, um, some really good pictures of him before 
he passed away that I hadn't shared with the whole family yet. And it was something that was so hard for me to work on. I would, I was like, okay, I've got to work on grandpa's album. I'd yeah. start working on it. I get all emotional. And I can't even, I can't even do this. I couldn't even pick out the selects. And then finally I sat down and picked out the selects. This is, I have, I've got to do this from Rabuku because I can't, every time I look at these pictures, I start crying. So I would, because I could just ship them off to you guys, I uploaded the pictures. I would get an email that like within 24 hours, and because I added the rush for like a little bit more money, mm -hmm. I needed it right away and you guys delivered it early. And it looked amazing. Like the first draft was amazing. And I'm sitting there going through this album, bawling my eyes out in the coffee shop. <laughs> but there, I couldn't have gotten this done myself. And so then it's like, okay, I want this picture to be bigger. And I want this picture to be on that page. I made those edits in under five minutes, submit them back to you guys. Within within like 12 hours, you guys yeah. sent me back another proof. I said, yep, that's what I want. And it was done. It was done. Like, guys, that that's a, that's a unique case. But I just wanted to illustrate how like, you don't have, you can still add your personal touch. You can well, still completely. add, like, it's, it's the vast majority of doing an album is, I think, the calling. Is picking out the right images to use. And I was so impressed with how your designers use the right images with the right images and ha like a great eye. And then there's just a couple tweaks you can make and you can make them and the album is still yours. Uh, and now best, best of all, you, it, you just hit, yes, I like it. And it, instead of having to deal with all the different order entry systems that all the labs have today, it's like you've handled that, that additional step saving me, even, even if it's just 10 minutes, for a lot of you photographers out there, if you're doing a hundred albums, those ten minutes really start to add up. You get all that time right back. So, I completely, yeah, I I, I give my wholehearted t like endorsement of this, not only this product but the service and the workflow. I, I I can't imagine. I don't know if there's anybody who's got a better argument for why you should be doing album design yourself. I want to hear it. Let me know in the comments. I just can't. It's such a no-brainer. You now you can. If you're if you are not doing albums yet, you've got to. It's such an easy thing to add to your business. Now, if you've been in, intimidated, where you've like tinkered around with it, and say, I don't have time to do this, that, or the other. There's a super simple way to add an incredible product line to your pricing that is going to instantly increase your your revenue and your profits. Well, and you brought up great points right in the initial part. And first of all, thank you for that wonderful testimonial. I remember those books coming through, and they were truly emotional. Um, every photographer is a control freak. Yep. And every photographer comes to me initially and says, I'm not your customer because I am a control freak. You have to understand you are my customer, and I understand where you're coming from. That's why we have the free proofing system, the free revisions, because we still want to put that power back into the photographer's hands. Yep. Now, we do have true designers. You know, It's not just a factory of people. Yep. And the beautiful thing about it is they really do know how to tell a story with your images. And right. that's what's wonderful. And honestly, that's why we can allow to give you free revisions because you generally, after one, maybe two revisions, we're done with that. Totally. Yeah. The other thing, you know, that we really haven't touched on, because this is where everybody's like, oh, this sounds wonderful, this is beautiful. but how much does it cost? <laughs> you know. Well, yep. I, I really had to work that part out, because as a photographer, from my photographer side, I had to still make a profit. Yeah. You know, I couldn't just provide a service out there that I was going to be using and not be able to still make good profit off of my books. Right. So I think we've been very aggressive with our pricing. Yeah, You're not going to really find... You're not going to find the pricing anywhere else out there. No way. $2.50 a spread, which for those of you that aren't familiar with a spread, that's two full pages. $1.25 a page is what it boils down to. Yep. If you're using just our design services, you're looking at 30 bucks for 30 images and 22 sides. So with your front back cover. That's incredible. Yeah, it's just, it's just a no-brainer, dude. That You guys can, we've got links below in the post. Check it out. Um, we're going to do a giveaway, uh, so check out the details below in the post. Um, spread the news about this giveaway. I, I think it's just a no-brainer, you guys. If you're if you're hesitant, 
and you're still you're committed to going through your own lab, I totally respect that. Uh, but I would re- I would highly recommend giving the whole workflow a try just to see the quality of the albums that are coming from H and H, because I know you've worked out a sweet deal with them. It's gonna you're gonna be really hard pressed to find a better combination right. of services that is. Bottom line, your time is your most important asset. And you That's the thing. We, that. we don't realize what our most expensive commodity is. Exactly. It's us. It's us. It's not yeah. the books. It's not the medals. It's not the wall yep. portraits. It's not the camera gear. Yep. It's us. Yeah. And you have to determine with that most important commodity, that, that piece, yep. what do you want to do with it? Where totally. do you want to spend your time in life? Yep. And, and let's be real. For those that have been shooting a, a few years... If you're out there designing your own books, I'm going to tell you from experience, you're going to be burned out in a couple of years. And you're probably not going to be happy in this industry. Totally. And that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to preserve and strengthen this industry. Yes. And these are ways that we can still keep a balance of life. Amen to that. Yeah. Totally. This is awesome stuff, dude. Thank you so much for joining today's show. I wanted to keep this one short and sweet for everybody. Um, last but not least, this is today's show is obviously sponsored by Sticky Albums. Uh, a lot of photographers, I, I'm the first one to say, guys, that I never, ever thought or set out to think that Sticky Albums as a digital solution is going to replace any actual print products. Um, some people get all scared, like, oh, digital is going to kill my print products. Not a chance. No. As long as you save your digital products until the end as an incentive. There's all kinds of videos we have on our site about using sticky albums as an incentive but one of the most popular ways is to combine it with your print albums say when you guys we don't sell the sticky album or the mobile app for free but when you place when you buy a book you get all the images in that book in your own custom sticky album some people like to take the spread and just upload those spread images into sticky albums personally i think that that can get a little small on an iphone but whatever floats your boat Whatever saves you time, you, uh, you can definitely make, make that argument. Um, but the key th- takeaway here is people come in saying some people who don't want to, they can't fit the full print book in their purse. Guess what? They can always, they're not leaving the house without their phone. And so you get all that marketing push. They're, friend, they're sharing with all their friends. And you get people coming in and say, hey, how do I get my own custom app? I want an app just like Jenny does. Well, Jenny bought one of our print albums. Here, do you want to take a look? And when with this purchase, we throw in the custom mobile app for free. That's the beauty of Sticky Albums, is using it as an incentive or a pull-through to sell more product and having a great word-of-mouth marketing tool out there on everybody's phone, right. iPad, etc. Right. Not on. to mention the back end. That's what I really love about it is the back end where I can see the amount of views and unique visits to that to each person's app. That's a beautiful thing. Thank you, dude. Yeah, those yeah. ideas, that all came from ideas from people like you. I remember talking about it with you back in the day. You're like, hey man, this would be really slick if I could see how many times somebody looked at these. I was like, yeah, people have been saying it. I know, I gotta get on it, I get on it. And it's, you push me and people put, and that's, I think what we both share in our values in running a business is we're photographers first and it that bleeds into the way we run our business and the importance we put on customer service. I know that you've got a team in place now, but at any time, like if something's not handled the way you want it to be or need it to be, you're jumping on the phone, you're jumping on email yourself still, um, and, and making sure that the customer's taken care of. So kudos to you, brother. I hope this helps. You guys let us know what you think. I love getting emails. Uh, Nate at StickyAlbums.com. Let me know what you liked about today's video. If you've got any other ideas for people I should feature on the show or any questions you'd like addressed, let us know. Thanks so much. Take care, buddy. Thank you. Bye.